Carrie, and we live in Sugarland, Texas. We have two children. Peyton Elizabeth is our 12-year-old daughter, and Major is our six-year-old son. Our life is busy with school. Uh, Peyton cheers, and she also dances for uh, a ballet, ballet company, and she dances between six to eight hours a week on top of schoolwork, so our family is busy. Peyton is pure joy, and she has been since she was born, and um, she's always happy, she's always smiling, she is loving, she is generous, she's a great friend, and um, she's just precious. When I became a mother, I understood the things that my mom did for me. I just felt this need to do whatever it took to make sure that she was okay. Peyton was 12 years old when we discovered something was wrong and we took her to Texas Children's. We had blood work done from her pediatrician that Tuesday when I took her in and he looked at me and said, you know I'm not very serious and I said I know and he said something is wrong. Peyton has pre-B ALL leukemia and I'm sending you to Texas Children's. Sorry. Um, Peyton was diagnosed confirmation on January 22nd, 2015 and she started chemotherapy the next day. Our family was in shock because you don't ever associate your child with cancer. Our friends, our church has been amazing in supporting us and just listening to us cry and being there for her. Her friends have been amazing. That was her concern. Am I still going to have friends? Are they still going to love me? What's going to happen when I don't have hair? Are they going to look at me differently? But none of that has happened. and. We are so thankful for that. Pediatric cancer research is important because it could happen to anybody. And I never thought in my lifetime my child would have cancer. It took my breath away. For a parent who is told that their child has cancer, I would say that it will be okay and you will find a peace through this and you will find that the doctors do care and that your child is not a number. Please join us in our fight against pediatric cancer because one more child with cancer is just one too many. I'll be the one to keep you